And your hat tip this week is don't tweet recruits. I'm not kidding. Don't tweet recruits. I know that Friday Night Lights is coming up, well, Friday night, and some high school campers could commit to Ohio State afterwards. So again, don't tweet recruits. No escribe los hombres jóvenes. Nicht um junge Männer zu tweeten. Ude a ne i tweet. You get the idea. It's not that your interest in a 16-year-old boy is creepy. It's that you think the interest should be mutual that's way weird. Why exactly should these young men care about your opinion of their life choices? Look, the fact that you enjoy watching a talented athlete play football is something that every red-blooded American can appreciate. It's your desire to interact with said athlete that is perhaps an unhealthy sign of a diseased mind. If you agree with me, let me know. Because that's not creepy at all. Until I write you something entirely inappropriate back. My next hat tip is personalized. This long distance dedication goes out to Nick Saban. It's a piece of PR advice, coach. When you disagree with a ruling or the way something's handled, maybe don't talk about how it impacts you. Talk about how it affects the student athletes who are supposed to be your first priority. For instance, if you don't like when the NFL sends student athletes research on their draft status, talk about how maybe it's unfair to them to give them that information at a time when they're juggling so much other stuff. Or they get this draft status before they can see any impact of their participation in a bowl game or the college football playoff. Satellite camps. Why don't you talk about how young men can't make educated choices when one conference plays by one set of rules and another conference plays by another set of rules? Better yet, if you want the SAC to get in on the satellite camp game, talk about how you can reduce the cost of recruitment for a high schooler by going to where they are, as opposed to have them traveling to you. Just a thought, but other people might care to listen to what you have to say if it sounded like you cared about other people. Finally, welcome back, NFL. Browns rookies reported to camp earlier this week. The team's veterans and members of the Bengals, both rookies and veterans, will soon follow. Which, of course, means that we are that much closer to Andy Dalton's first primetime implosion of the year. That's your hat tip, courtesy of 97.1 The Fan. No, seriously, don't tweet recruits. You can put the logo back up now. There you go. That's nice.